सो नाउ लेट्स मेक ए ऑर्गेट सो नाउ अर टॉपिक इज ऑर्गेट एंड द सिंबल ऑफ ऑर्गेट इज दिस वन वेर ए एंड बी इज द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट विल बी ए प्लस बी राइट एंड वी नो दैट द ट्रूथ टेबल विल बी ए बी एंड वाई जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन 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 ओके नाउ यू नीड टू मेक दिस और गेट बाय यूजिंग नैंड गेट राइट हाउ वी कैन डू दैट वन एज पर द बबल लॉजिक वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट इफ we put some bubble in the nand gate then this circuit will act as a or gate okay here y equal to a plus b if you need the more information in the bubble logic i will give you the link in the description please check that one here a and b is the input that mean actual input is a bar and b bar right that mean what we will get here y equal to a bar dot b bar whole bar okay if we use the de morgan's theorem then we can write down a bar bar plus b bar bar then we can say a plus b so we can say that this circuit will work as a or gate right and this one is a not gate this one is a not gate so what we need to do first we need to make two not gate okay Here in my breadboard, we already made one not gate. So let's make the another not gate. I will take out the LED and the multimeter from here, as I don't need the output from that not gate, but I just need. Now you can see this blue one. The blue one is the input of this not gate, and this brown one will be the output of this not gate. Okay, so this is the first not gate. So make the another not gate. so for that one we need to do the same thing that mean we have the second nand gate in the number p number 4 5 and 6 right so what we need to do just connect the connect a wire or short the number 4 and number 5 pin okay so in the breadboard this one is the number 4 pin and this one is the number 5 pin okay so just short this two So I already shot number four and number five pin. Okay, for the input here I connect in the number four pin. So this will be the input of this not gate. Okay, and for the output I use the same color brown color and put in the number six pin. So now here you can see the number six this one is the one output and this one is the another output. Okay, so that pin. the blue wire in this blue wire if i give a then this brown wire will give give us a bar okay and if i put b in the this orange wire then this brown wire will be b bar right so i already made a bar and b bar okay so now what we need to do just check the circuit diagram here a bar is already made b bar is already made right so what we need to do just use these two input in a another nand gate okay we have a nand gate in the above of the circuit we have two nand gate right so let's use the another nand gate where the number 8 is the output and 19 is the input okay so that mean we need to connect these two brown wire in the number 9 and 10 so here you can see this one is the 8 pin 8 9 and 10 okay so here i connect this one in the 9 okay and connect the another one connect the another one in the number 10 okay so number 9 and 10 are connected okay so that mean if i put a and b in this two input then the output should be get at the number 8 pin that will be or get output right so here i take the output from the number 8 pin So take the output from number eight pin. What we need to do? Just connect a resistance for the LED. Okay, and to check the voltage, we need to add the multimeter. So connect the multimeter in the number eight pin. Okay, now connect the LED light. 
okay so now we need to cross verify the or get truth table what do you need to do first that both the input should be 0 0 okay here you can see my a input is blue one and this one is the b input okay for the a input and b input the output is zero why a and b both are zero right so led is turned off that means the output is zero and also you can see the output voltage is 0 0.132 volt that means we can say the number one condition is satisfied okay that means a is zero b is zero and output is also zero okay now let's do the a is zero b is one okay b is one means this orange is our b so take out that one and put it in the one okay so here you can see this terminal is the b input okay i connected in the 5 volt and a is in the 0 volt so 0 and 1 give us 1 that means it is turned on and the output voltage is also you can see 3.47 volt right now to the next one that means a will be 1 and b will be 0 you can see output is still the same right as a is 1 b is 0 so ideally the output of the OR gate should be 1 here you can see the LED is turned on that means output is 1 and also the voltage is 3.47 volt now the last one will be 1 and 1 so for 1 and 1 you can see I connect both the input the blue color and the orange color A and B 1 and 1 right so the output is also 1 that means the LED is turned on and the output is 3.5 volt. So the now the topic is troubleshooting. As you can see in the circuit diagram there is too many wires. Right. So when you have too many wires like this the only thing you can do is that first just like what I did first make a single NOT gate that means what I did here with the number 1 and 2 and 3 pin first check the single NAND gate or NOT gate. 1, 2 and 3 that means give the input in 1 and take out the output in number 3 that means you should check that the first NAND gate is working as a NOT gate or not this is the first step the second step is do the similar thing with the 4, 5 and 6 that means just check that the second NOT NAND gate is working as a NOT gate or not okay if you have A bar and B bar is done then just do the same thing with the 8 9 and 10 NAND gate that means just give the output from number 3 and number 6 bit to the 9 and 10 I think it should work okay for any kind of digital practical I already told you the first troubleshooting tips is first check all the first check all the gates all the gates are working okay or not just I told you 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the 8 9 10 this 3 9 gate is working fine or not if the NAND gate is working fine if the NAND gate is working fine then I think you did some mistake while connecting the wires so just cross check your wires if the wires connection is okay then your circuit will be fine and it will give you the your desired output if you like our videos on the practical topics or theory topics Please give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and also if you have any question please write down in the comment box we will read your questions and try to make some video to solve your doubts okay so that's all for this video see you in the next one